Did you know that obsessive compulsive disorder or OCD is treatable? Yet it takes on average 17 years before an individual with OCD symptoms receives treatment. In this video, we're gonna address one contributing factor for this gap, recognizing the signs and the symptoms to know when to seek help. Let's start by answering the question, what is OCD? OCD is a chronic mental health disorder characterized by obsessions and compulsions. An obsession is an intrusive thought, image, or urge that is recurrent, unwanted, and causes anxiety or distress. The content can vary widely. A compulsion is a repetitive behavior to alleviate the anxiety generated by the obsession. It can be an action done in the environment, like hand washing, or a mental act like counting. To have OCD, these obsessions and compulsions must take more than an hour a day and cause significant distress or impairment in social, work, or other areas of functioning. Next, let's go into more detail about what OCD symptoms look like. The content of obsessions and compulsions can vary widely, so it can be helpful to group them by theme. Some of these themes are well known because they're commonly depicted in media portrayals of OCD. Others are less well known. You may have seen movies or TV shows highlighting OCD symptoms like intrusive thoughts or fear of contamination with washing rituals like repetitive hand washing. One of my patients was so impaired by this that he had to wear gloves that when removed revealed bright, red, swollen, and cracked hands. Some individuals have intrusive thoughts associated with fear of harming others because they weren't careful enough or fear of being responsible for something terrible happening. Harm obsessions typically generate checking behaviors. One example is an electrician who feared that he might have run over somebody with this car without realizing it. And he would spend hours circling back to areas he had already passed, looking for an ambulance and checking the news to see if any accidents had been reported. Another commonly depicted theme is an intrusive thought for something that needs to feel just right or it needs to be symmetrical or exact. The resulting behaviors include repeating until it feels just right or ordering and arranging. One example is a school teacher who couldn't make it back home to her family, spending hours making sure her classroom supplies were aligned symmetrically. Another example is a college student who would spend hours writing and rewriting his homework and hours trying on shirts until he found the one that felt just right. Others may have taboo thoughts that they're horrified by or inconsistent with their values. And some then in response will have mental rituals like praying to prevent terrible consequences or canceling or neutralizing a bad image with a good image. One example is a mental ritual is a contractor who had intrusive thoughts of the word John, which increased anxiety, he considered that bad, and then a compulsion that he needed to neutralize the word by thinking David. There are many more themes of symptoms, and it's worth noting that although individuals may have just one theme, many have multiple themes. Why is it important to recognize the symptoms of OCD? OCD symptoms usually start during adolescence, with a quarter of cases starting by age 14 and half by age 19. If untreated, the chronic symptoms may be moderate to severe and can derail a person's life by impairing their ability to concentrate and causing anxiety and avoidance. Another example is a teenage girl who was unable to go out with her friends for fear that she might need to go to the bathroom. When she went out briefly, she restricted her water intake. That led to dehydration and frequent urinary tract infections. The good news is that OCD is treatable. Effective treatments include a specific type of cognitive behavioral therapy called exposure and response prevention, also known as CBT with ERP, and medication with the class of medications called serotonin reuptake inhibitors, or SRIs. Approximately half of individuals with OCD will get well with standard treatment strategies. 
For others, it may take time to find the right treatment or combination of treatments. But ultimately, seven out of 10 people will see OCD symptom improvement with treatment. Please seek care as soon as you recognize the symptoms we have discussed. What stops people from seeking care? The unfortunate reality is that many people do not seek care even when they recognize that they're experiencing OCD symptoms. Some people may feel embarrassed to talk about their symptoms, especially if they're having taboo thoughts, or they may think they can cope on their own. It's important to remember that OCD is like any other medical condition that requires treatment. Imagine your uncle was having a heart attack. You wouldn't tell him to cope on his own or that he should feel embarrassed about having chest pain. In the same way, someone with OCD can and should get treatment. Others feel like they're the only ones with these symptoms. And I just want to assure you, this is simply not true. OCD is a common disorder affecting approximately two in 100 adults in the United States. If you or someone you know is struggling alone, please get help from a professional. You can reach out to family, friends, support groups, which can also be of great help. See below for a list of OCD foundations and resources that can provide information, advocacy, and connection to care. Three main takeaways. One, recognize symptoms to know when to seek help. Two, there is hope effective treatments exist. And three, you are not alone. Don't let stigma hold you back from effective care. Thank you.